Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. Another day on the farm. But as you can see, maybe I mowed a little bit more of the lawn last night. Ah, it's looking so much better. Yeah, the wife was after me to get the lawn done. She said she, if she didn't have to spend so much time pulling up weeds, she can probably cook some more. So I said, oh, okay. So we'll see what happens. So let's dive right into the map today. All right, so what do we got here? Transport. Fix a building. Uh, okay. Fix a building. Transport. So it's like we'll do some jobs around here. And then we'll take our plow and we'll plow... Oh, maybe a couple of our fields ourselves if we... Maybe at least one, uh, depending what field we do. But what I need to do is... I think all the fields up here that can be done are done. Uh, Hardware, click to cancel. I don't know what he's working on. Uh, that's not plowed, so we'll hire someone to plow that. And we'll wait a couple seconds. Like we have to, which is not a big deal. Alright, uh, let's see, this one is not plowed either, so you can go ahead and plow that one. And then you count to five, somewhere around there. You hit the map again. Uh, this one they have a hard time with sometimes. Uh, we'll get someone to plow this one right here. So there is our four workers. Uh, let's see. Fix a building. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go up here first. We'll hop into the Jack Bear. And see, I'm pretty sure the transport's down by Steve. Since the job is up here. I gave time to get everyone to get out of their little buildings. One day, it'll be all different. You've been saying that since, like, last December. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's see here. I am looking for work. Got anything? This be over three hundred dollars when it comes to transport jobs. There's something I need, indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Uh, that's a good price. Thank you, sir. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. All right, and I think they're at the. Uh, no, that could be the church. So let's get our morning exercise in. Wiggle our way through these buildings. Let's see if it is at the church. Look both ways before you cross the street, kids. Victoria, and she's way over by the front door. That's what they tell us. Hi. Good morning. It's true. Put it on TV. Is there something I can help you with? And once again, just be over the three hundred dollars or three hundred dollars. You know. Need some care. What do you think? I think she's going to jit me. Oh yeah, she did. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. But like I said, we're here to do all the jobs that we can. No matter how big or how crappy they are. <laughs> well, if she's crossing the street, we'll cross the street. Uh, this looks like this might be the one I stir in the corner. And done. The brick looked pretty good to me. Then we'll teleport down to our pickup truck, go see Steve, we'll get that package. And then we'll see about the other two jobs. Wow, that woman's having a bad morning. 
<laughs> Does it look like I care? I didn't see if I can tell by her tone of voice that she really didn't care. I'm here for the package. Yeah, Steve, give sure. me your package. There it is. Thank you. And now we'll teleport back up to our Jack Baron. Looks like that fixed a building job that was kind of down near our house, our farm, is now up here. But first, let's go can this one in. Here's the package you requested. Thank you. Here's something for you. Thank you, sir. So there's a thousand social points so far this morning. Not a great deal, but baby steps. Baby steps. I was hoping for plow the field kind of jobs today, but... We'll be plowing... Something today, our field, <laughs> so for one of theirs. Oh, I thought that job was coming here. Where'd they go? They're over at the church now. Figures. I'm trying to figure out who would be down by our farm, then walk up here. See a couple smiley faces around here. That Doesn't sucks. like he cares either. It's and Calvin. Really not in the mood today. Hello you there. You came Good morning, sure Frank. On how you, look at that. Really you came from a long distance, dude. Could have I'm looking for work. Hour. Got yeah. anything for me? A building on my farm needs some really care. What do you think? I That's a good price, and I know where it is. True. I'll take care of this. And I don't have a vehicle down there. It's way Do it's I not look like too I far care. down there. Uh, I'll meet you back here after I just go do the health inspections. I'll see you in a second. Getting in or exercise here. I ran all the way down here. So it is the farm that was up next to ours. Yeah, I'm not going to run all the way back up there. We'll probably be just a little bit closer. Yeah, I cut it the distance in half. Good enough. I thought you'd bring it back for the good house inspection. So. <laughs> That's right, he's at the church. For some reason I was thinking he was at... Yeah, okay, whatever. I know it just happened two seconds ago, but, you know. I wish I was in good enough shape like this farmer is. Holy crap. That would be kind of neat if uh, in the next patch that they have, that you can mow it's the lawns around here. Apparently she thinks the grass needs to be swept. And, and well, at least they're doing the sidewalks. Here's something for you. Tell us. On top of all this, my Ah, uh, 1,500 social points. There, that makes it just a little bit better. Now, where this job is, I think we're going to take uh, the minivan and don't run to the telephone pole that just, you know, rendered in as we <laughs> logged, logged into our van here. Over there. Over here, over there. But I was running down to the other farm, I got to realizing that maybe I shouldn't be plowing my, any of my fields today. What I need to do is go around with the uh, cow manure and fertilize the fields that have been seeded. Make sure they're all fertilized with the cow manure before it starts growing. So I'll probably go ahead and do that and maybe mow some more of the yard as well. Looks like these fields down here are already plowed and sown for the year. Hello, just driving through the yard, don't mind me at all. So 
someone's over here fishing that needs a package. Well, you know, maybe it's a warm spring day. She wants to cool off her feet. There's some mighty big fish in this pond. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot day, so I'm standing in the water as well. Hi. Hello. Come closer. Uh, no thanks. I'm good right where I am. Is there something I can help you with? There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Yeah, not really a great price, Sounds but good. like I said, take care of this. no job too big, too small. Uh, is it Steve that we're going to go see? Yes, it is. I'm here for the package. Sure, there it is. And the good news is she's not going to have time to run away, so we'll hop back into our van. Let me out. Here's the package you requested. Thank now, isn't that fast you. service? For you. All right, so there's the jobs done for the day. I want to take that star off the map or it'll drive me nuts. Still got four workers going. So now we'll head back to the farm, park this sucker up. Kind of take a shortcut. There's a field that needs plowing right there. That field's done. A lot of fields are already done though. So I may not get many more plowing jobs this year, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, who knows? Sometimes they have they, they have you plow a field that's got crops in it, so <laughs> who knows what they'll have us do. That's right, I gotta have the guys Yeah, we still got a couple more fields up by us that need to be taken care of, but I got them all down. At the other set of fields right now, that's fine. The ones right next to the barn. I forgot the ones next to the barn. Uh, so what we kind of need to do is, is we're going to do the front yard now. I'll try to break up the yard in sections. So it doesn't seem like a big task. front yard, you know, is everything to your neighbors. Kind of shows the kind of person that you are. So we need to clean this up. Not that anyone else cleans up their yards, but you know. Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't give for like a push mower or something. I'm not going to bother closing that gate because, you know, it likes to open itself all the time. Looking better already, isn't it? Jeez, that car gave me, like, no room. That's kind of rude. Very, very rude. So this should make the wife rather happy that I got quite a bit of the yard done the past 24 hours. And I did all this without even using the harrow. The 
one thing is, usually when I get done mowing the entire lawn, I always find a patch or two that I've kind of missed. Not a patch like that, but you always see like a patch like this somewhere. Actually, I probably should talk to the wife, because I don't remember the last time we talked to her. If you can't remember the last time you talked to your wife, that's something you should probably do. Just saying. Not that I expect her to be mad at us for not talking to her or anything like that. Get this little section done right here. Just because we can. Hey, come on. Mow down. There we go. Ah, nice clean yard. Front yard's all done now. Let's go say hello. What day of the year is it? It's the seventh already. Okay. So we're one week into the season. I'm busy. You're busy doing what? I mowed the yard. Now you're now you're here trying to Not now, sorry. What is your problem? Is it because I haven't talked to you? No, don't. Hi, honey. <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself? Nice to see you, love. How are you? The eggs are delicious. Uh, well, you eat them for about a year and a half like I did, and you tell me how they taste after a while. Hi, babe. See, there's a patch of grass right there. I can see right now I missed. You look like the princess I've been looking for my entire life. And there's a patch of grass over by the sled. The slide. Sorry. Uh, yes, use trimmer. Saw it over my shoulder. Aha. That's what I'm saying. You gotta get them all. There. Now it's looking like a house. Kind of. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... We're gonna drop the plow off. Up on top. And we're going to go make sure all of our fields that we can have been sprayed. Well, this tractor should have more get up and go than that, but... Uh, that's the wrong button. Are they both full? Alright, we'll grab the one that's at like at 99%. I'm not going to make that corner. Alright, we'll go this way. So we're going to go over the hill here. Where those two fields are. We'll make sure those are covered. And we'll kind of go in a clockwise kind of motion. These fields here are just... Are they plowed and cultivated or are they just... Alright, so yeah, they're just waiting to be seeded. So the next time we get a couple workers free, same thing with this field, yes. Okay, so these two fields here just need to be seeded with barley. And when we harvest those in a couple months, we'll feed the cows. Just to make sure. And as you can see, we got a field down here that we need to kind of take care of. 
Actually, we got a few fields that we kind of need to take care of. But like I said, I'm not too concerned about our fields this year. Not too much. I, like I said, I don't even think I even want to artificial fertilize them at this moment. Yeah, we'll lose some uh, yield from it, but... If we get time to do it and I don't have nothing to do, then we can probably do some artificial fertilization. But I can see where we're going to be really, really busy this year. Especially if I can keep getting some uh, work for plowing other people's fields. But that's been kind of hard this year so far, hasn't it? Well, I love it when the mouse does that. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we get dizzy there. I don't know. Uh, what was it? Lupine. I was like, I don't even know what's even in this field. We should have enough manure to do most of the fields up here. For the most part, anyways. Wish I had like GPS and like on farming simulator so I can kind of get these lines just, just about right, but I can't zoom out anymore to exactly to see how far it is spreading as far back as we can zoom out. But we'll cover it the best that I that we can here. How's our tank doing? Alright, still got more than half, so we're not going through it hardly that much at all. Uh, that's not me destroying crops. One of our workers. Uh, what's the field at? 87%. We're going to call that good. Now we'll head up over here to Oliver's... Around Oliver's farm. Get these three fields done. What time of day is it? It's still morning. But we still have more of the yard to mow as well. I would like to finish that kind of today. Just because it looks so much better around the farm when the uh, yard is nice and mowed. I shouldn't say it's mowed, it's more like trim since I'm using a trimmer. Just about ready to finish up this field and just about ready to run out of slurry in the tank. Let's save some for the other corner. So we got that small field done right there. And obviously this field here is just about done. Just kind of like looking for big sections that I could possibly do. I only got, like I said, I got a little bit left. Yeah, this will do, I guess. All right, so while we're sitting here, I probably should have a couple workers free. We do. So put some barley into that field, would you please? And that should be long enough. And then someone can put barley into that field as well. We'll go empty our storage tank. Let's 
tractor doesn't seem to have the oomph today in it. But then again, never really had the oomph to begin with. There's our two workers trying to figure out how to get to those fields, I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure I know where that guy's even going. That guy's made it down there. Yeah, he, he's doing what he needs to be doing. This other guy. Yeah, he's he's making his way. He's all set now. He, he's about halfway home, so he, he'll be move along just fine. I don't even remember how much is in the storage. Oh, so we'll get a, we'll get a full tank out of this. Oh, so it doesn't keep filling the tanker once I'm out? Uh, that's too bad. I kind of get it, though. Alright. We'll, we'll sit in the tractor. I needed to stretch my legs a little bit. But we'll end up with a couple thousand of kilograms left in the storage area. We'll save that for the uh, summer harvest, if you will. But now we need to head back up here, right to the field over this little knoll here. We'll start with that one. A lot of storks hanging around the house lately. I wonder if this is the year that uh, Allison finally gets pregnant. Alright, so I'm going to get cracking on this a little bit and I'll bring you back in a little while. Just about finished with our next to last field for the day. As I run circles around it. eighty percent done is what we're looking for that's good enough so we just got this little field here to do and we'll be caught up with the fields up around the farm anyways obviously we got all the fields that workers cannot work in which I think is what four four or five fields I think Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four fields. I'm sure we'll get to them at some point. But not bad for being one week into the season. We got all the fields harvested. I would say what half of them at this point pretty much on their way to being fully seeded and fertilized shouldn't take uh, dumb and dumber too long around the farm itself to do those two small fields but with workers you never knew Eighty-eight percent. We got a little bit left in the tank here. That's fine. One of these days, maybe we'll even be able to uh, work in this grass field right here. 
And I don't think I can go out this way. Uh oh. Looks like to be a hit and run dispute going on. Well, there's no running. There's a hit. Yeah, you show him who's boss, Claire. <laughs> Just... Yep, now she's going to cross right in front of the other one. Hold on, what's going to happen here? Oop, she almost got hit. Now she's just going to stand there. Maybe she's having a midlife crisis or something. Who knows? No? Nope. Alright, who knows what the hell's going on there? You know, sometimes it's best not to ask questions. Let's, let's head back to the farm. Do just a little bit more mowing. Just a little bit. Need to work around the fireplace. That's what I'm thinking. I'll disconnect from that just in case I forget that I was connected. Oh, that scaffolding. Yeah, so they're doing rather well here. Yeah, he's already uh, three quarters of the way done. That guy's catching up as well. I don't know why, but I saw this little piece here. It's like, yeah, we'll just trim this piece here as well. Not like we ever really go in this barn ever. I don't know why you want to store bales of straw. Okay, because we've seen that the cows can go, once you feed them up to 100%, they can go almost two years for feeding. Just ridiculous. And the chickens. Let's not even talk about the chickens. I, I even forgot when I fed them last. And it, well, I didn't even feed them at 100%. I don't think they've ever been about 50% on food. farm is looking so much better now. Even a riding mower would be nice. this stream. Here's a stream. The stream that comes from our liquid slurry tank. That feeds that pond down there. Just doing some finishing touches up around the fireplace area. This will cut back on the mosquitoes that we get when you try to sit around the fire at night. Actually will cut back on all the bugs that you get around the fireplace at night by trimming the grass. Mowing the yard in this game definitely can take an entire day easily. But I noticed I forgot one space inside. Which I always do. Take a song to 
touched up this little piece right here. And this little section right here. Ah, peace and quiet. Yeah, that, that that took me about four in-game hours to do. Just around the fireplace, really. Oh, man. Well, now it's going to bug me. One thing I'm glad that in like one of the last patches that they did a couple months ago, they slowed down how fast the grass used to grow. You used to have to do this once a month, easy. As you would in real life, I mean, really. <laughs> I mean, you used to cut this grass and within like three in-game days, the grass was like starting to show again. It's like, really? I just flip and mowed it. They even got around the headers. The front yard looks really nice. The whole yard looks nice. I'm tired of this gate always being open. I know I'm closing it for no particular reason at this point. But this farmer needs to sit down and relax because he's had a rough day. But we did get four jobs done. Again, nothing too spectacular. Uh, we got about, what, 2,500 social points. Cash, whatever. We got some workers working around. Fertilize most of our fields up here. I'll double check tomorrow in game day. But uh, I would assume at this point now, if we just get like transport and fix the building jobs, now that I kind of fertilize most of the fields up here, we'll start plowing and working some of our fields ourselves. At our leisure. And now I don't have to mow the lawn anymore. Well, I still got some areas to touch up, but nothing too major. But yeah, we're, we're gaining on the spring. We're getting all caught up to where, yeah, we can kind of start working our fields once again. And like I said, no rush there, but we'll get to it when we get to it. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Like always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. But until then, have a good one.